I love that sound, right? Like, and they kind of tap into it almost perfectly. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, this is Play It Again. I'm Ginger. And I am Mike. And I got a notification on the homepage that Seether released a, a new song recently. So we're going to react to it because you can't fight the Seether. <laughs> I was reliably informed by 90s girls band. Who <laughs> sang that one? I don't he remember. He makes that joke Maybe. every time I say I can't help band it, name. man. Yeah, we grew up, I mean... You the can't 90s, fight the Seether. That's true. Actually, now I have that song in my head. <laughs> it's going to be hard to listen to the one I'm listening to. So it's called Judas Mine. Uh, I, we both have, uh, what would you do on our playlist? Mm -hmm. It's a, a constant play for me. I love that one. So this was a, we were very late to the see their game, apparently, mm -hmm. but I have been enjoying it ever since we discovered them. <laughs> Good stuff. So let's go. Okay. I'm ready. I hear and mind. obey.
Because that was a total trip into the 90s. It was. I was just thinking how old school that sounded. It was amazing. I love that sound. Right? Like, and they kind of tap into it almost perfectly. Mm -hmm. I really like that, that kind of high-pitched hovering guitar that mm -hmm. would just chime in every once in a while. And the weird chaos that was going on. Those backing vocals were very Soundgarden in style. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Right. Oh, very good. Yeah. It was definitely, the chaotic sound kind of spoke to the theme and the lyrics mm -hmm. of the song. For sure. Right? Because yeah. it, it, it's like that war in your head yep. when you're fighting sort of with your own conscience. Yeah. Over, yeah. That was incredible. And for those of us, not you, because <laughs> Mike's the most stoic person alive, but for some of us who have sometimes had internal conflict, <laughs> it's a sound that's familiar, right? Mm -hmm. It's a theme that's familiar. And it really does sound like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot of screaming. <laughs> a whole lot of screaming. Just keep it inside your head. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, that was really good. I do like the old school 90s sound that these guys bring with them. That's... Yeah. Uh, it's lost sometimes, mm -hmm. right? Like uh, we've entered a, a different kind of era, but for those of us who, that was our era, right? I do sometimes miss it, yep. right? And, and it's a... I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. It wasn't my era, but I know how you feel. <laughs> I have an era too. <laughs> Mike's era was the 80s guys, so he's all about cocaine and synthesizers. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Cop to that. Anyway, I enjoyed it. Nonetheless. No, it was good. Like, I don't, I don't know if they're doing stuff that's a little bit different or if I've changed, but uh, I liked that better than most of the actual 90s grunge. Yeah. So that was well, good. Well, it, I mean, yeah. I, it, it still had an edgy sound that mm -hmm. didn't make it sound like it was a song from back then. Mm. It was just hearkening the style, which I think is a little bit different. Yeah. So yeah. Like like listening to new synth wave compared to original eighties stuff, right? Exactly. Like it's, it's, exactly. It's not the same, but it's heavily inspired. Good comparison. Yeah. Okay. So I enjoyed it nonetheless. Hopefully this means there's a new album come uh, forthcoming. But in the meantime you can just play that one again. <laughs>